Number one. YouTube is not for everybody. I've come, it was before that I used to get offended if I film a video and it doesn't get views and I'll be feeling bad. I'll be like, I'll be complaining. I'll, be, I'll keep checking my studio. Oh, this video is not getting views. This video, like it was before it used to get to me. But now I told myself, what I tell myself is, if I'm going to do this thing for a long time, I should understand that not every video would do well. There are people who go to, who go to the market, right? Or wait, the main market. They have a shop. Mm. And for a whole day, no customer came to ask how much is this thing. They did nobody. Even if somebody came, they just priced and went. They did not buy. But the next day, mm. the man will still come and open his shop. That did not discourage him and say, oh, I'm closing my shop. Or so that's the way I see it. This is something I want to do. I'm here for a long time. So, and I've come to understand that not every video will do well. Some will do better than the other. So if mm. I post a video and it doesn't get views, I will post another one tomorrow. If I got to a time that if I post video today, people do not watch, I will go and film another one and post it. I say, people don't want to watch this one, people watch this one. And mm. I remove my mind from, I don't even check my studio anymore. I post my video, I go and watch movie or just get busy, do something. So mm. that's how it works for me. I just don't put my mind to it. I used to do it before, it would get to me, I would rant. Your taste kitchen, she, she's not, I don't know if she's here, she's my friend. So I used to rant to her that time, you know, so. Mm. I would rant and rant and she's like, calm down, you're, you know. But now I've just come to understand that, yeah, if it does work, we move. Nice. If it doesn't do well, we move. So yeah. Well yeah said. I have well over said. one I have over hundred K subscribers and I there's some videos that don't even get up to five thousand views. So yes, I experience low views on my channel, but it doesn't it's not it's not the end of the world we move okay what is the number one advice you would give to somebody that is starting on youtube or is thinking about quitting youtube and one advice you would give? number one youtube is not for everybody so if i said this one i was gonna come and say it's because it's working for you but it's the truth not every business is for everybody. So if you feel YouTube is not working for you, wait till before you come for me, listen. If you feel YouTube is not working for you and you want to quit and try something else, try another business, go ahead. But if you feel like you're born for this thing and this is just a temporary setback, you're not getting views, be consistent, keep pushing, put out content, increase the number of times you put out content a week. YouTube is work, it's hard work. It's not, it's not for the faint hearted. So if you want to see something, you must put in the work, be consistent. Somebody just said yeah, that it's a competitive space. A lot of people are doing what you are doing. So if you are not, put, if you are putting video once a week and expect, oh, people will be waiting for you and they'll be, they'll be waiting. Maybe you're, you post video every week. By a particular time, you now say people now fold their hands and be waiting for that particular time for you to come and they will come and watch. It doesn't work like that. People will overtake you. <laughs> the speed you will say that in the train will just leave you and move. So, if you feel you cannot do it, don't do it. Go and do something else. YouTube is not for everybody. That's the truth. But mm -hmm. if you think you can do it and you can put in the work. You can sacrifice because see that first period you say YouTube, you might not make money. Understand that if you know that, then you will do well. You will not make sometimes you will not reach your threshold in a month, three months. You have not withdrawn, you've not cashed out of your YouTube. So understand that and see that as, as a sacrificial stage that you're enjoying this. You know, Jesus, seeing the glory, he endured the cross. So seeing the money you will make, you have to endure this period, not making money. And mm. build your content. Focus on building your brand, creating content, be known for something. So that eventually, when your content blows or when you begin to get noticed, you will have other content that YouTube will be suggesting to people like, 
people after watching this one want to watch another one want to watch another one want to watch another one that's what helped me because mm. I, I just mentioned i post video four times a week that time four a week monday wednesday friday sunday even till now i still do it sometimes so if you want to see results if you want to see money you must put in the work and then understand that you will not get the reward now now you will get it later so you just have to work now three times a week is okay even twice a week so if once a week is working for you fine but be consistent at it just know that okay be posting video once a week it might not work for you like somebody who's posting three times a week but if it's something your head can carry your circumstance that's what you can carry then be consistent at it be consistent at that once a week not to post video today and the next time we see you on youtube is in three months time and then you're not going to be complaining that youtube is not paying you or you're not getting the views when you're not consistent and then i also advise you try something new try something new right if you're posting a content and it's not working you've been doing it over and over and over again and it's not working for you try something new try pick up challenges go to the market i notice market vlogs nigerian market vlogs do well go to the market interview people take up challenges do just try something new you can do gist okay most of us some of us youtubers i think we focus more on youtubers we talk about youtubers we create only content that is for youtubers why not create content that people that are not on youtube can watch so there are people that youtube content work for creating content for youtubers you will get views yes but why not try a content that everybody would be interested in some of us do reaction but we're only reacting to other youtubers so it's only youtubers that can relate to us so those are not on youtube they're not content creators cannot relate to us and there are so many people on youtube who are not content creators who are not youtubers that want to watch some people just come back from work they click on youtube they go through they're just looking for something to watch but if your video is only on YouTube, talk about Tochi Esther today, talk about uh, uh, Ruth or Hams tomorrow, talk about uh, um, 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 Ujulin Space next tomorrow. You will, people that are not, so people like, let me say, people like my husband, for instance, will not watch you because he's not interested in YouTube, female YouTubers and their gossip and wahala. And he won't watch you. People like, um, just, Ordinary people that are just not content creators will not watch your content. So try and put out content that people who are not on YouTube can relate to, can watch. That would help you. There's a limit to what YouTube content can do for you. So if you're doing only YouTube, YouTube content, you might not get that break or that view that you're looking for. If you're doing only reaction on YouTubers and YouTube gossip, you might not get that break and that money or that's that's the truth that you're looking for right do other things because i notice that a lot of people just come on they say they are reaction they are react reactors and all they talk about is just youtubers gossip uh, ruth or ham did this tochi esther did that this, like it's like if i if those people are not on youtube anymore like you won't even have content again do something that people who are not youtubers can relate to come watch relax and chill and watch enjoy your content that would help you if you're reacting react to gist things happening in the world that everybody wants to watch not only on youtube people it will not give you that break and that view you're looking for youtubers there's a limit to what youtube and youtubers and youtube can do for you you don't need youtubers to blow you need the crowd the audience the people that are not on youtube those are the people you need to get that break not youtubers if you get what i mean so i'm not saying those reacting about youtubers i'm not i'm not bashing anybody i'm just saying that i'm just advising that if i was the one i would not do youtube reaction i would i will because it won't give me what i want i would do gist trending issues and learn to analyze things critically something happened today um there is there is like there is a baby somebody beat up i saw a news today on insta blog where a man beat up their baby or you know 
look for a way to talk about it so that you will not take out your content because a baby is concerned. That was what happened to Nezem mm -hmm. View. You know, she yeah. she's an analytic thinker. She talks about you won't see her coming talk about any YouTuber. Oh, this YouTuber did this. she if he was talking about YouTubers, she wouldn't have gotten to where she is today. She talks about real life issues mm -hmm. that anybody in America, anybody in US, anybody in Australia, Canada, UK can watch her. You know, and, and they can relate and just know what she's talking about. So um that should help. Try new things, do create contents that anybody and everybody can relate to. Don't limit yourself to just YouTube content or those on YouTube. You know, look out, reach out, um, open your eyes and do something that everybody you, you, your audience will just come from the whole world. And you look out collaboration and sharing, okay? Was that part of did you get anybody to share you out to get known okay, on you? Was that part of your strategy? No. I don't think people sharing you out can give you the the break that you need. You might just get few subscribers from it. I don't cut out the fact that you can get subscribers, especially if people like what you do, because people know me, right? For instance, I have a lot of subscribers and I share you out. If my audience click on your videos and they can't relate to what you're saying, they will not watch you. And I feel like my audience is different from lifestyle audience. So if you do a lifestyle content mm -hmm. and I, I share it, you might not get the views that you want. Because personally, if I do lifestyle, I don't used to get views. That was why I even had to open a second channel to do lifestyle there. Because if I post anything lifestyle here, <laughs> if I get 2,000 views, I know that the video got views. So my audience are not, they are serious <laughs> people. They are there for, give us serious gist. How do we move? How was happening? Give us, not, they are not there for your lifestyle. They don't care. So my, my audience is different. So I might col collaborate with somebody that does lifestyle and you won't get views and it's just what it is. So people have to love you and connect with you to be able to subscribe. There are people I watch their channels more than once or twice. I watch you the first one. I say, okay, watch you second time. I say, okay, if I don't want the third time, and I say, let me subscribe. I like this person's content. So there are people you just watch once and like, oh, I like your person and you subscribe, pam. There are people you just have to watch and say, okay, okay. So that's how life is. Somebody clicking on your content doesn't mean that we watch it. They will just click on it because I shared it. And if they don't like your other content, what you do, they will not subscribe. So collaboration helps, but it won't give you that break you need. Um, sharing out helps, right. but it wouldn't give you that break you need. You might just get one or two people from it and now. Oh, you look at one person and say, then I shared one person's video. And you forget that. It's just like, I know most of you watch Nelo KK and her help. So that girl has been her help for a long time. The girl has been featuring on her channel. So she's like a family member. So people already know her. So if she opens a YouTube channel, of course she will get views from Nelo KK. So it, and it, it won't do as much as you when Diana Kweme shares you or when Nelo Keke shares you, it won't do that much. So that's my point. So don't use that one and generalize and say, because then I shared her friend and she got to 1 million views in one day. It helps. No, that girl, we've always, people, uh, she has always been Diana Kweme's friend. You've always seen her on her channel. You know, they're always together. They're their best friends and everything. So if she starts YouTube, it's only natural that people would want to watch and support her because they already feel like they know her so it's just like Nelo Keke and her sisters before Neka won't go open her channel you guys already knew her you were seeing her on Angel's channel seeing her on Nelo's channel she was appearing with them you know doing things with them so when she now opened her channel she got the subscribers because of course you guys already knew her so you won't compare that with yourself that they're just somebody just sharing you just for you I, I don't know if i'm making sense but you can't compare the two situations they are two different things if i have a sister today you guys know my sister she's with me always on my channel we just we talk and and then she opens a channel and i say you guys my sister just opened her own channel 
don't you think she will get subscribers and views but if i share roots video tomorrow do you think it will do the same like it will do the same way my sister's channel does i don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say so don't compare the two scenarios they are two different things that's why i said most times when reactors just react and just try to analyze things sometimes when you're trying to um, do things so there are two different situations two different now people are following her because they already seen her on her sister's channel her friend's channel so whether they already know that family they already know like so they want to know more about you or about they just so they are following your sister and following you so now coming to share you who is a total stranger who just wants to just wants to help you or just you know it's it's not the same you might not even get any as much views except people like your content so that's it so yeah Thank one last so question much. please do you ever run out of uk content if yes what other type of content do you create so let me share this story before i go when i shared on youtube right you have to be a step ahead you have to be creative you have to be innovative you have to you have to hold on to whatever works for you tight so when i shared a video of how we bought a house and i saw the response all other videos you saw that we did about house it wasn't planned it was because of the response we got i got i even had to bring my husband and sometimes we had to create time the kids are here both of us can't film at the same time so we only had to film when the kids were sleeping there was even one of the videos that you will hear my children snoring in the background right that was the only way we could film that video they, they were just there and you know that was the only way we filmed video 12 a.m 1 p 1 a.m in the night 2 a.m in the night right but i had to we had i had to do it bring him in because i saw the feedback i saw people were interested and i had to hold on to that and i put there putting out more house content it wasn't even planned it wasn't even the picture even the house store empty house store i did i didn't plan to after i announced that we bought the house somebody said okay the next thing is now house store i say eh house store oh and you may like that okay now empty <laughs> people do empty house and people watch they say yes i say okay empty house store here we come and i did it and maybe somebody comments will do oh okay so i was just flowing following what people were like really wanted to responding to helped me the same thing with the healthcare video when i put out the first one i saw the feedback i saw the reaction and i said see it must be smart so that's how i started following it too i'll put that another thing i'll just come and talk about it like okay what to expect you know i will just see and so that's what you should focus on if you do a market vlog and it gets more views go back so for instance if you did the biggest shoe market in lagos tomorrow go and do the biggest bag market in lagos next tomorrow go and do the biggest clothes market in lagos next tomorrow go and do like just anything that works hold on to that thing and try to duplicate videos in that direction if you did any mm. reaction that you saw that people liked more do something like that again keep doing it like just try jump on trends do things and i noticed that most nigerian youtubers don't do how much we spend on groceries they don't do it and you don't have to spend much money you could be going to your daily markets your monthly groceries for your family and you do it how much people want to watch i want to know things are costly in nigeria things are costly everywhere i want to know how much you're spending as a family in 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 nigeria i want to know i want people also other people want to know how it is now oh so you won't believe how much sanding is now in the market oh you won't believe oh you won't believe oh you know things like that but i feel like most people just come on youtube and they are watching a particular set of people so they want to do anything that person does that person that is, is what they will use you forgot that that person have blown or the person was in youtube when it wasn't this competitive but now you are here now that is kind of everybody's here you're still doing what they are doing those people don't have good video quality some of them don't do they don't use good mics they don't have good thumbnails but it's working for them and you want to go and follow it won't work for you because then they blew and built their audience when it wasn't this tight 
So if you're following their footsteps and doing exactly what they are doing and expect to blow, you will not blow. You have to think outside the sure. box. So that is what my two cents. Um, yeah, if I, if I remember that thing I would say. So just try and then improve on your sound. You don't have to buy any expensive mic. But there's some people that you watch, right? Even if you turn on your volume, volume of your TV or your phone to the highest, you still not hear what they are saying. Try yeah. to build. Don't feel if you don't have a mic. Don't feel in a noisy place. Please, don't feel. Don't stress your audience because they won't want to watch your content. They'll be like, "Only God that calls up with another noisy video or another low video." Mm -hmm. They won't watch mm -hmm. the quality of your video if there is no light. If you can, if you don't have ring light and there's no lights, there's no, you, even if you put on your cutting, it's still dark. Don't film, don't, it's better not to put out content than to put out rubbish. Do quality content that people will hear, be audible, talk. If, you're, if you don't have mic, speak out, speak out, talk loud. If you're in the market, it's noisy, don't go without mic because we will not hear you. So, hmm do try new things don't be following people that have blown on youtube and be doing what they are doing and feel like okay this see, see that you know it's that person not be your room or there you know say see this person now she doesn't have thumbnail she doesn't do this see she's getting views and you now forgot that that person have already blown before you won't say if before you even thought of of um youtube yeah so and one more tip one more tip that i want to share that okay. i've been seeing that people do that just want to correct if you're sitting down just by the wall please try to move your seat away from the wall to give you a better background so i see a lot of people i used to do it before but it was my husband that corrected me and showed me the difference so as i learned that one let me teach another person that one see i'll give you a free master class so you if you check if you sit down right don't sit very close to the wall sit out of the way so if you have a good background don't go and sit down because you and all the designs will be the same Will not, will not differentiate between your clothes and the design on your wall. So sit out, a bit, just give yourself space between the wall. We can Then the beauty of your background will come out. And then we, you don't need to have a camera to do this one. And just try it and check the difference. Try sitting very close to the wall. Just bring your, your chair and sit down beside the wall. And then sit out of the wall and then see the difference. So you people should thank me for this free master class. All right, guys. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I don't have to say bye bye. Tochi has already done a great job. Thank you so so much, Tochi. If you missed the video I made this day today about YouTube monetization and how demonetization, copyright, and strikes impacts channel and how you can correct it, I'm going to be leaving in this end screen, maybe somewhere here. Let me leave space. I'll leave it. I'll tag it here so that you can click to watch if you're catching this video on a replay.